A Dallas hospital worker who helped treat the man who died from the Ebola last week says she can't pinpoint where a breach occurred that caused her to become infected with the virus. Yeah, here is the very latest on the Ebola threat this morning. Health officials are monitoring other workers at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital who cared for Thomas Eric Duncan. President Obama has now asked federal health officials to move as quickly as possible to investigate that incident. And enhanced Ebola screenings will begin this week at several major airports, including Chicago O'Hare. Dulles, Newark, and Atlanta will also begin screenings. Customs and Border Protection and the CDC already started the screenings at JFK Airport over the weekend. Now, health professionals in Indiana are not overly concerned about the spread of the Ebola virus here. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're not making plans in case of a worst case scenario. There will be a forum today at Indiana University in Bloomington to talk about that threat. So let's check in with our Sunrise reporter, Kerry Klein, who joins us live from IU Health Methodist with more on the local health officials getting prepared. Kerry? Yeah, good morning, Scott and Julia. There's a saying that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And no healthcare facility wants to be in that boat right now. So they are meeting and discussing and developing a protocol just to be prepared in case a patient does walk in locally with the Ebola virus. Now, this is what Chad Priest stresses. We talked with him over the weekend. He is the assistant dean of operations for the IU School of Nursing. Now, he says healthcare workers have to be more diligent in their assessment, looking for those symptoms of a rapid spike in fever of 103 degrees or more, a headache, nausea, vomiting, unexplained bleeding. Plus, has that person been to Liberia, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, or surrounding countries, or have they had direct contact with an Ebola patient? IU has a partnership with a hospital in Liberia that Priest hopes will shed more light on a solution. We know and sadly, I think the United States was very late to the game that the way to stop Ebola here is to stop Ebola there. And that, by the way, is a lesson for all emerging infectious diseases. So we're going to have to get a lot more comfortable going to places and doing things that maybe in the United States we've just figured someone else would take care of uh, in order to protect our own interests. And you can hear more from Chad Priest in person this evening during that free educational forum at IU Bloomington. Now, Priest is one of several panelists that is scheduled to speak, raising awareness about Ebola and that devastating impact that it's had on Liberia. The event goes from noon until 1.30 today in the Wittenberger Auditorium in the Indiana Memorial Union. You'll also hear more about that partnership I mentioned between the IU School of Nursing and the largest hospital in Liberia. For now, reporting live, from downtown, Kerry Klein, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.